Hello, my name is Jeffrey McGiorris, and my precedent is the Schroeder House, designed by Garrett Reitfeld. The Schroeder House was designed by Garrett Thomas Reitfeld in 1924 for Mrs. Truist Schroeder. She commissioned Reitfeld to create a smaller space for her and her children following her husband's recent death. Built in 1925 in Utrecht, Netherlands, the house was characteristic of the Distille movement, containing basic geometric shapes and primary colors. Open space dominates the house with modular elements that provide several versatile arrangements of space as well as secret storage compartments. Most prominent of these elements are the large modular walls that Reitveld designed to run throughout the house. When open, these partitions create large spaces that allow fluid movement between them. Cupboards are also placed conveniently throughout the house to maximize storage and include multiple sinks, per Mrs. Schroeder's instructions. The cupboards were also designed to hide the sliding walls when the large space was in use. Bertus Mulder states that Reitveld designed a series of sliding walls for the first floor in such a way that a separate landing, bathroom, and four rooms could be created, as well as making various other combinations possible with two adjoining and interconnecting spaces. By using these sliding walls, different rooms are created for various purposes, utilizing transformation and ritual. At night, the walls may be brought together to create bedrooms, but in the morning, the walls are opened, creating a large open spaces to be used for daily activity. These design elements are very useful to unify each smaller space into a single large space, as well as to unify any occupants of the spaces. However, it seems to me that the task of moving the walls throughout the day to generate a room's specific purpose would become quite daunting. Thank you.